guys, today I'm participating in another group collaboration. This time we are doing a look inspired by the color pink. It is our stinking pink makeup collaboration video. So here are all the ladies participating. We have Afoma, Anya, myself, Rachel from Ray Young, Rachel from Pixie Ray in UA, Lisa from The Curvy Cuban, Samantha, Shelly, Tara, and lastly, Tiffany. So we all took our own spin basically on the theme. We've not seen each other's looks before filming. So it's always interesting to see what everyone comes up with. Everyone's links will be down below as usual, as well as their channels. So you can go subscribe to their channels. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. I started my brows. I used the NARS brow pencil. I'm now gonna clean up the bottom with my Studio Finish NC35 concealer. It's what I normally use underneath my brows. I normally do my brows off camera, but I just forgot to do it before I press record. <laughs> I'm also testing out a new microphone. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna like it or not. Hopefully, I like it. Just in case I need to make adjustments to the sound or anything, just bear with me. I'm just gonna blend downwards. Taking Too Faced Shadow Shirts. This is my primer. I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I have been neglecting this, although it is awesome. It helps stuff stick better. I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out. Although I don't think I used it enough. So I'm gonna take a little more. Put a midget under the bottom. Today, I'm using the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. This here is what it looks like. First, I'm gonna do an all pink look, so it's gonna be totally monochromatic. I am taking, I guess, Poodle to the crease, this color here. Using a MAC 224, it's just a really fluffy blending brush. Just taking my finger again to make sure everything's blending out. Taking Poodle, as I mentioned, into the crease. Put a lid, I'm taking a flat brush because I want a really intense application of color. And I'm taking the brightest pink in the palette called Sandbar, this one here. And this is just a stiff flat brush from Sigma. Excuse my nose. I colored my hair and I messed up my matte top coat. I'm gonna have to stop doing matte top coat because it does not look good when it gets dyed. And now the matte top coat is peeling off. It's not cute at all. I love matte top coat, but it just doesn't work for my lifestyle. I like colored hair. I don't like wearing gloves. I'm taking a somewhat lid. You can see how intensely pigmented that is. I'm gonna go back into Poodle with just that crease shade and just make sure there's no harsh transitions. Okay, for the outer V, I kind of don't want to use purple, but it looks like that's kind of what I'm stuck with in this palette. But I'm going to do as pinky purple as possible. So I'm going to take this color called Trove. It's this pinkish plum at the bottom left here. I'm just going to take an even more tapered brush than the previous. This is a Coastal Scents BRC in 08. I'm packing it on to start with. And I'm going up with the remaining, the remaining, oh my gosh, the remaining <laughs> product. You might have to go back into your palette a couple of times. I'm not applying too much. I just want to deepen grease. Going back and forth. And you might need to take your fluffier brush with that poodle, which is that crease shade we originally started with. You might hear snoring. I shouldn't have to tell y'all that now. <laughs> y'all should know by now. Your snoring is not me, obviously. It's my dog. He normally sits right behind me while I'm filming. He's like my guard dog. He's so cute. I'm gonna go back in with my lid color. And then again, with outer crease color, lightly. Going in with a brown highlight now. I'm not sure I wanna use anything shimmery, but I think I will. Yes, I am. I'm taking Moonstruck, bottom right. I don't typically do shimmery colors, but I'm gonna do it today. And for this, I'm using, ooh, I don't know what this is. This is an RL Moda Triad Eye Brush. It came in one of those, uh, Box of charm boxes, I believe. Or a lure, one of the two. I'm applying it at the highest part of my arch and then blending down. And then I'm going over to the inner. Doing that on both sides. For the bottom, I'm actually gonna take purple. I know it's stinking pink, but I'm gonna do purple. This is Piggy Bank from ColourPop. It's a cream gel liner. 
This is going into Waterland and Lower Lessland. I'm gonna leave the inner corner bare. I normally do that. I'm taking the same brush I used for my brown highlight, I'm taking this color called Tickled at the top left. This is going to my inner lower. And then I'm gonna connect it with another color. I'm taking another brush I've used. I'm taking this purple called Caddy at the bottom here. And I'm lightly smoking up this. It doesn't take much because it's pretty much already color there that's gonna stay. That's the whole idea. I'm taking my NYX Epic Ink Liner. You could also use pink. I probably should. Let me see. Let me see if I have anything that will stand out. If I don't, it's pretty much pointless because this is already pink. So I found pink glitter liner. I'm gonna use that in along with my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm just gonna do black and then I'm gonna go on top with glitter. We'll see how it looks. Now I'm gonna take this glitter liner I have. It is Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Cat Call. It's just a nice glittery pink. I've never used this color, I don't think. I might have, maybe, I forgot. I totally forgot. Actually, I'm gonna let this dry a little more, my eyeliner, before I put this on top. I don't want black on my tip. So, I'm gonna take some mascara next. Urban Decay Troublemaker. It's just going to the top for now. That should be good enough. I'm gonna go in with this liner now, glitter one. Oh yes, I'm liking. Now if you ever wanna enhance your glitter liner, just take actual glitter and put it on top of the liner. Now, I'm gonna take some lashes. These are from Amazon, look like this. They are the 3D 535. They are cruelty free, or well, cruelty free mink lashes. And I have to say that because, you know, people are curry curry. They will accuse me of using faux mink lashes or mink lashes that aren't cruelty free. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but because I still buy designer bags, which are leather, I feel like every little helps, no matter what you do, in my opinion. Hopefully these aren't too long. I haven't measured them in a while. It's not like my eye glue. I don't know why I just said that. Dry. Fix. I'm gonna fix my black liner now where I messed up. I'm gonna do my thing. Don't know how long I'm going to use that mic or use the microphone because the battery's dying so quick. I literally used it once or twice and the battery died completely. I don't know about that. So, okay. Foundation. I'm gonna use my usual. Bare Minos Fresh Face Liquid Foundation. This is their made to fit. Taking a couple of pumps and foundation brush. This is the Sedona Lace 480. This is a bit lighter than me now. I got a slight tan, so I might need to use bronzer with it. Actually, I always forget to do this. I didn't even do concealer or anything. What the heck am I doing? This is ColourPop No Filter Concealer, Dark 40. I'm gonna quickly do this before I do foundation. Sedona Lace 312. Now I'm going in with that concealer around my mouth. Radiant Creamy Concealer and Chocolate. I have like 10 things on my hands. <laughs> this is going around my mouth. Using that same concealer brush. I'm gonna cut this lash in the inner corner because I don't like it being longer on the inside. I like it shorter. Now I'm gonna take my foundation. Of course, I'm putting extra around my mouth. I normally do. I don't think it's too much lighter today. It was yesterday. I look weird in pictures. I'm gonna set my under eye with the NYX HD Finishing Concealer. This is just a translucent HD powder. This is the only area I'm setting. With. And also, I'm gonna set it around my mouth too, just because I apply a ton of extra product in it. Always have unblended spots here. Okay. I'm gonna take some mascara to the bottom before I totally forget, which I probably will. So don't do it now. Same mascara, Troublemaker from Urban Decay. I 
cheeks, I'm gonna take a very bright pink. It is stinking pink, like literally stinky. This is the Aroma Leaf Breathless Rocks Sonic Rouge. This is old school. I don't even think this company is around anymore. It's just a really bright pink. You can see it through there. I'll open it for you. It's intense. Like I'm scared to use it almost. Look. I'm definitely dumping something to my lid because if I dip my brush in here, it's gonna be crazy. Just take any bright pink you have. And then blush brush. This is just a random one. I'm not sure the name. I'm already told you this is too much product. Look at that. Um, it's gonna take some serious blending. Look at that. <sighs> told you it was intense. And I barely put anything on the brush. I don't know if you can still find them on Amazon, but they were a really great brand. It sucks that they, you know, went under or they stopped making producing makeup. They had really great products back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I mean like around 20, whoa, around 2008, 9, 10, around that time. I'm telling y'all my age. But yeah, that's how long I've been on YouTube. So it's been a long time. Anyway, I'm just going back. If you happen to put too much like I did, just go back with your foundation brush. I'm gonna go ahead with my foundation brush I use. I'm not adding any more product. Just sweep them back and forth. And as you can see, it just diffuses it into the skin very easily. So it's a trick if you apply too much blush. Just be sure if you're planning on using a brush again, just clean your brush off so that when you go to apply foundation next time, you don't have pink everywhere. I'm gonna take a pinky cheek highlight, sticky pink. This is Glitzy Unicorn from Cutie Pop. It's not bright pink, but it's appropriate for my skin complexion. It has nice flecks of gold shimmer. I'm sorry, my nose, my outer nose is itching. Allergies. I'm taking the same brush, actually, that I use for blush. I'm dusting it off, like for real. And y'all already know I'm going crazy, crazy. Why am I talking like this? Why am I like this? I'm actually gonna take, also, a pink for the lips. This might be too much pink for some of y'all, but I don't want this pink. I'm gonna be back. <laughs> Three lippies here. I have varying colors. I'm gonna start with this Kissable Lip Color from MAC. It's super old. I should be embarrassed for using this. This is Vanity Fair. I want something lighter. I don't want anything the same color. The same pink. I want it different pink. So I'm starting with this. Let's see how this works. If it doesn't work, throwing away. Moving on. This isn't bad. I actually like it. It's lighter, but it's not so light to where it's Pepto Bismol. It's like a sheer lighter pink. So I didn't need the other two. I just had them as backups because when one doesn't work out, I usually have to get up, go in the makeup room, and get more, get something else. I'll come prepare it now because I don't like to do that. But this is my final stinking pink look. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Hope you guys tolerated my mic. It's my first time using it, so hopefully I got it set up properly. I don't know, I'm new to this. Honestly, I don't feel like I needed it. I just wanted to see, you know, what improvements, if any, could be made if I had one. Because I have one of the best cameras out there. Yes, I'm bragging. I'm just saying, Sony is better than Nikon or Canon. I've used all three. Sony is better. So we can have an argument on that if y'all want to, but Sony is better. I'll say it again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm one of those people. So yeah, if you rate the video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out the other ladies that are participating in this collaboration. I'll have all their links below as well as their channel so you can go subscribe to them as well. Talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching.